Hi there and welcome to this art journal flip through. My name's Amanda and I'm an artist from Vancouver and today I'm going to be sharing with you these three journals. I'm really excited to talk about and share these ones with you all because I haven't really shared these journals online as much as I have with my previous journals. Of course I've shared some of the pages and some of the behind the scenes but a lot of them have just been what I've done in private and have made myself. So I'm going to do that. Two of them are kind of my traditional art journals that I always make and this one's kind of a writing journal and these all are from Amazon. They're around like 30 pages for each one and they're pretty cheap so I really like them and I'll leave a link to them in my bio but let's start out with this one here. So this journal here was kind of the journal that I did to finish off 2022. I completed it on Christmas Eve and yeah, I feel I've kind of already forgotten everything that I've made in it because it's February right now, so it's been a couple months, but I think this journal honestly feels kind of rushed, but it was still a good time. These are when Taylor Swift's album came out, so I made a video about making some art journal pages to music, and I did some of Taylor Swift's songs. Like this one here is for Antihero. This one's for your on your own kid. And I definitely do see myself in my art style shifting towards abstract. I don't do a lot of kind of reference drawing anymore, but I want to, of course, practice that. But I do see myself leaning towards abstract work. And I have been doing a lot of collage work. I say I would say that. 2022 was the year that I kind of explored collage a lot more. And I've definitely branched a lot into painting for sure. This here was, I wrote about how angry I was because I was using Echoline watercolors and it spread onto this page and I did this page first so I was like annoyed that it ruined it but that's because these journals the pages are kind of thin so it doesn't hold paint well at all if you want a journal that holds paint very well don't go with these ones like even here i think that's why i skipped pages because this here i'm using black india ink and it just bled right through but I know that, like I'm not complaining because of course this is a cheap journal so it's not gonna, it's not going to hold things the way that I would expect them to for a more quality journal that you would pay for. And I think a lot of the pages in this journal were really just a hit or miss and I kind of just stopped if I wasn't vibing with it anymore. Like this one here, I just didn't complete it because I just wasn't feeling it anymore. This was a scrap because I had just gotten a stamp, so I was using it to test things out, and I decided to just add it into a journal page. I always use my scraps. I, I never throw them away. I always believe that you can recycle things and repurpose them. Very emo stuff, but... Yeah, there's this journal. I also do find that my art journaling towards the end of the year always slacks off. They fall, It falls apart because I feel like it's the end of the year and usually around December I'm gearing up for my series that I do on TikTok where I art journal every day for the month of January. So my focus shifts to that and I don't like art journal as well in the last month of the year. So I think, of course this isn't, there are some good pages, but of course there isn't, but I don't know, it's, it's interesting to think about that sometimes in the year you art better than you do in other parts of the year. Okay, this next journal is a really exciting journal. I call it my scrapes and scribbles journal because I would basically do like a paint scrape like this and then when I would write stuff. So I usually did this late at night, so it, I got like a different kind of response at night than I said it would do in the morning. I don't know if that's like real or not, I need to test it, but I might do like a next type of video where I journal only in the morning or journal only at night to see like if the time of day really affects things like that. But basically the gist of things is that I would do a paint scrape, 
let that dry and then I would do some writing to accompany it and this one did take a while I did it from November to I finished this just recently in February so it did take a couple months to do but it was kind of just nice to have another journal going while I was doing my other journals that had things going and plus like I was just doing something different because I find that with art journaling sometimes it can feel very uh, repetitive so when I do journals like this it's kind of like a way to just try new things and separate things and I do a lot of creative writing in my mind I was creative writing so I try to work with different mediums and combine it together I, poetry has never been like a huge thing in my life but I do I do like to exercise it and see what could what could become of it and I do like these type of paint scrapes because it helps to like try out colors and try out paints and see what color combos are very what works well together and the types of patterns that you can create from it yeah so nothing too crazy from these a lot of it is like writing and having different designs made from it but i think this is still a very like beautiful journal and it's a, just a great way to like hold together and collect your thoughts in one place yeah so there's this journal okay so lastly i have this journal to share this journal i made just recently in february and I always feel like these journals are kind of more revitalized because I had just finished my January journal where I was like in my new year of journaling and just felt very energized by it. So this journal feels a lot like more, I don't want to say better, but I do feel more proud of this one compared to the other two journals where I kind of like emo and kind of just like bad vibes in those journals. But these ones, I, it's more colorful, it's more happy. That's simple as that. It's just better vibes. That's all I can say. So I did also dive into a lot of kind of like foldy things. I don't know why, but I was very into that for this journal at least. And I'm probably gonna continue it. I really enjoy kind of like adding more space into the journals because you know, you have the space of your page, but you can add more to it. And I enjoyed exploring that. And this journal is definitely just a lot more colorful. Um, I'm always diving into paints. I think painting will always stick with me. I always enjoy it. And it's, it's, it's a medium that I think is just always going to stick with me. This is some watercolors. These journals don't really hold watercolors that well compared to like holding gouache paint. So that's just how it is. A lot of also sticking in extra paper that I did with this one because I was realizing that if I had kind of these pages, it would ruin the next page. So a lot of cover-ups I put in this journal. Valentine's Day page I made. This page, I struggled so much with trying to figure out what to do here. And I ended up just leaving it blank because I was having so much trouble figuring out what to do. So I just left it as this. And honestly, I think it's still a great page. I think this one might be one of my favorites. This is oil pastels. And I just made a grid and I just colored them in as best as I felt like it. And this was a scrap paper. Like this is some, um, the black I used in a page later on that I'll, I'll, I'll come back and talk about it more but this was just scrap paper and I just added more on top of it I definitely added a lot more of like songs song lyrics that I really like because I think it's nice to think about how I'll look back on these journals and then I can see like journal um songs that I really enjoy and yeah it just makes me feel good it's like kind of like archiving songs that I that are really important in my life right now and I'll be able to look back on them and remember those songs 
So here's another example of kind of just adding more of these types of things into the journal. And so I painted these black ones and I put them in and then that's where this scrap paper came from, was from me painting them. So as I say, never throw away your scraps, they can always be repurposed. This is also probably one of my favorite pages in this journal too. Yeah, there's the last page of this one. I usually do some writing here, I just forgot to for this one, but I always like to sum up kind of like what's going on in my life at the moment. And I usually put that on the last page of my book, but yeah, there we go. There's this journal. So I hope you enjoyed looking through these journals with me. I always like going through them and talking about them because of course I'm the one who made them, but it feels like I'm sharing these journals with my friends and kind of like poking out the little hidden Easter eggs that I've done with all of them. So. Of course I share these kind of online, but you don't really get to see like the behind the scenes of everything. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and I hope you get inspired by seeing these pages. Please let me know your favorites. Please let me know what you're making. I would love to know and I'd love to talk about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.